Hi everyone, this is Cynthia from Sinlof Inc. and I thought I would put together a video tutorial on adding a shadow and a highlight to your lettering um, using Procreate app. Um, I already have written my word here, so what I'm going to do is duplicate this. Um, once I duplicate this by sliding to the left, selecting duplicate, this will become my shadow layer. What I want to do now is recolor my main lettering here. So I want to go back up to the, um, the layer above the shadow layer, selecting this color, and I'm using color drop. I'm going to drop that onto my word. And if for some reason it's not coloring the entire word, just keep your pencil held down, slide to the right, and that color threshold will change to 100% and fill the entire word. Okay, now we're going to go back up here and select our shadow layer. Once you've selected the shadow layer, come back up here to the um, selection and make sure you select freeform. This will allow you to move it a little more freely. And we're gonna drop that shadow down and just adjust to where you need it, okay? Once you have adjusted the shadow, you can leave it like that if you like a shadow that's uh, bolder. Um, but we're going to go over now another option of doing a softer uh, sh shadow. So to do that, we're going to use Gaussian Blur. So I'm going to go up to the Adjustments menu at the top left. It's the second one down, Gaussian Blur. And the way you do that is just hold the pencil down, slide it to the right until you get it to where you like. Okay, I'm going to do there roughly about 17%. And there you have a softer shadow. If you want to make it even a little more subtle, you can come here and select your shadow layer and adjust the opacity by just selecting on that layer. And I'm going to do about 60% there, 50. All right, so that's like 60% right there. Okay, and there you have a softer shadow. Okay, next thing we're going to do is go over adding a highlight. So I'm going to go into my color here, change that to white, and I want to add another layer because I want to add that highlight on top of my lettering. So hit the plus symbol. Now we have a third layer. And I'm going to go ahead and add my highlight on here. So now I have my highlight added, and um, again, you can leave it as that if you want a, a bold highlight. Um, or we can do the other option that we did with the shadow if you're just wanting a subtle highlight over your lettering. We're going to do the same thing. So we already have our highlight layer selected. So we're going to go up to the adjustments option here in Gaussian Blur, and same thing. Just hold the pencil down and adjust until you have the highlight to where you'd like. Okay, and there you go. There's a softer highlight, and again, you can do the same thing that you did with the shadow. Adjust the opacity if you want it like that. Okay, I'm gonna put this back up though to 100% because let's say you want it to still be somewhat blurred out, but just a tad bit stronger there you can also just duplicate that highlighted layer that you added the Gaussian Blur to. So that'll just kind of be like a blurred out highlight. All right, I hope this helps. Thank you so much for uh, watching.